Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting budget brand battery for you today. This time for Cycling Bat, a new release for 2025, Group 24, size format, low temp protection, and smart Bluetooth 5.0 in this one. We're gonna check it out today, see what it's made of. If you're looking for a full review, test, and teardown, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. So almost got the Cycling Back Group 24 Bluetooth Edition fully charged. Charging cycle's complete, so now time to pull it back down. So I got the Cycling Back Group 24 Smart Bluetooth Edition hooked to the capacity test rig, the same setup I always use. Got the energy meter zeroed out, nothing has been turned on yet. So I'm gonna turn the inverter on now. Okay, the inverter is on. Now time to connect the load. I'm gonna be using the same charger, same load I always use for these battery tests. I'm charging another battery, so now adding the load. Okay, the load has stabilized roughly 36 amps, 480 watt draw on the Cyclone Bat Group 24. So I'll run it like this and see how much capacity we got. We're looking for 1280 watt hours. All right, so on the Group 24 Cycling Bat Bluetooth, got about, yeah, about 216 watt hours through. Gonna check the BMS on the battery now. They're rating it at 100 amps continuous. You can see right there, and their peak current, number one, is 130 amps with a 10 second cutoff. So I'm gonna add an additional load and see if it can handle around 130 amps. And here's the additional load, another battery charger right there. So let that stabilize and I'll get you a final reading. All right, the additional load is picking up now. So I will get you that as it stabilizes out. We should be around 130 amps, plus or minus a smidge. So there we go, 128 amps. So, oh, well, that was quick. The BMS shut off. So the rating of 130 amps is right on the money. That only lasted just a few seconds and it cut off. Good to see. Have to, there we go. The BMS just reset as soon as I push record. Hope that got caught on that uh, start of this little cut scene right here. So, all right, back to the regular charger. I took the big charger off. So back to the 36-ish amp load, 470 watts, 236 watt hours through the battery. So I want to check, make sure the cycling bat's rating of 100 amps will stand. So I'm going to switch up the load and try to get right around 100 amps best I can. So let me rearrange and try to get that 100 amp mark dialed in. All right, so I plugged in a 20 amp 48 volt lithium charger. Uh, the only thing's on here, so 95 amps. So that's pretty close to 100. Add anything else would push me over 100. So I'll run 95 amps for roughly 100 watt hours to make sure this BMS will handle that, you know, 100 amp continuous. So do it about to about 360. Okay, the Cyclone Bat Group 24, Smart Bluetooth Edition. There we go, 100 watt hours worth of capacity through it at you know 96 amps. So I'll disconnect that, and then I will plug this back in for the remainder of the test. Right there, so let that pick back up. So I'll run it right there at the 36 amp load for the duration of the capacity test. Coming up on the estimated halfway mark, there we went 640 watt hours out of a rated uh, 1280. I hope it did a little bit better than that on the cycling bat. So roughly halfway through. All right, looks like the cycling bat group 24 smart Bluetooth edition is going to reach its rated capacity. So I'll film it live as a rollover. There we went 1280 watt hours. So we've reached the rated capacity. So how much more it's got left. The voltage is starting to plummet off pretty quick on the Cyclone Bat Group 24. So I will film it as it drops off. The inverter should go off any minute now. All right, the inverter just shut off on low voltage. So it looks like we ended up with 1,295 watt hours out of the Cyclone Bat. That will be just a touch over 101 amp hours. And what do you get if you purchase one of these Cycling Bat Group 24s? Well, of course, you get the Group 24 battery with 
Bluetooth 5.0, you get a product manual, you get two sets of terminal bolts, short set and a long set, and a greeting card from the brand introducing themselves and asking you to leave a review for their battery. And Cyclone Bat's got a pretty good product manual. Shows you, you know, pretty much everything you need to know about this battery. Now, the pertinent information for today is it is a Group 24 size format. So you can see the dimensions right there. And here are our specifications. Pause the screen if you'd like to look at them further. Another cool thing about these Cyclone Bats, uh, you can mount them various different directions to suit your application needs. And here are the app instructions for downloading their Bluetooth app. I will not be using this app today. I will show you their Cyclone Bat app in an upcoming video. I'm going to use a different app for some screenshots for today's video. And also with the multiple mounting positions and nice carry handles, you know, Cyclone Bat's got this battery covered pretty well. Show you another look at the outside of it before the teardown. You know, there's the front. You've seen that. Go around the side, got a QC sticker there. Go around the back right here. This tells you, you know, some cautions right there. There's another QR code set so you can download their Bluetooth app and your charge specifications and match continuous current specifications, things like that on the back and your low temp charging protection point and low temp discharging protection point. Now I'm gonna tear it apart. Get you set up on a tripod and I'll crack this thing open. We'll take a look at it. So I got the cover most of the way off. Still got some glue and snap tabs over there. Finish the last little bit of the glue on it like I always try to do with y'all watching. All right, there went the top of the rest of the cover there. Let me reposition, we'll see what we got here. All right, so the positive on this cyclone bat is a six gauge, 200 degree jacketed cable. Uh, we have a hydraulic crimp right there, heat shrink, and the pass through is super tight. And we do have brass coated, it appears. I don't know if these are pure brass or not. Actual terminals on this battery, probably brass coated, but let's, uh, no, they're actually brass. Then spin you back around over here to the negative side, we have two 8 gauge 200 degree jacketed wires. Right there on the negative, also good tight connection. Then on both pass through terminals where the connections are bolted in, we've got a little bit of you know, silicone on there. I guess that's their uh, mark to show that the bolt has not moved or whatever, but no thread lock or anything, but we do have a lock washer uh, on the terminal connections right there. So just showing you everything I'm seeing. So I'm gonna show you the battery assembly before I remove the cell group from the outer case. You see right here, we've got plenty of high density foam between the cell group and the outer case. There's foam down there, there's foam back there. And you can see these plastic grids right here. This is a modular cell group. So that's good to see. And here's the BMS right here. You can see, surely you can see in that shot where there's been a sticker removed here and a sticker removed here. Well, that's a JBD BMS. If you look on the Bluetooth, the model number and all that, that's a JBD. It is a DP04S uh, 100 amp rated BMS right there. And you can see our connections right here. Everything's tied on that. Nothing, nothing wanting to come loose there. So I like that. They actually torqued everything. We got some marks right here. Looks like where somebody checked it. You can see our NTC sensor lead right there going down and our balance leads right there. So now I'll remove the cell group from the case. And same view just out of the casing right there. You can see all the foam I was talking about right there. You see the modular grid assembly to hold the cells together right there. There's our positive lead, looks good there. Negative lead looks good there. Nothing loose on this. You see all the wires are glued down right there, the balance leads. So got some epoxy board right there protecting the top of the cell group. And it was glued down to the bottom of the case right there. So no moving, no shifting in the case. And I'll show you the sides. We got foam over here, protecting the cells there. And then here's the back side. You can see the plastic grid assembly, uh, how this battery is put together. Take this epoxy board and foam cover off right here on the top of the cells. And you can see under this piece of tape right here, there's our NTC sensor coming down from the board right there from the BMS. That's what was glued down that I saw up top. So our balance leads are all machine screw connected and they use this sealant right here to glue that epoxy board on. I removed a second ago. You can see the laser welds 
on these bus bars and that looks pretty good and they got a large expansion joint or expansion hump on these so i like seeing that too and you can see how this modular case is constructed it puts all the cells together and snaps together so i'm going to try to remove one of these side pieces here so we can get a qr on these cells but you can see using this modular grid how you can do your wire management and they did a very good job they had loom around all the balance sleeves and they're all tucked into these snap tabs right here so you know that's a very clean built pack so I moved part of the modular cell pack assembly support bracket right there. And then I cut this piece of plastic back right here, one of the latch tabs, and found us a QR code right here. And it looks like it's legible. And there is the QR code on this cell. So there it is for your reference. I'm going to look it up and see if I can find something. And if I can, I'll include it on the slide. So according to the QR scanner, these appear to be Goshen cells, which that's Goshen High Tech is the actual company that produces cells, and they're a very popular cell. Goshen is. A lot of OEMs use Goshens, and you can see these cells are in really good shape, and Cyclone Bat's claiming grade A cells. So, um, you know, they, they appear to be in good condition, and uh, they performed as advertised. So after fully draining the pack and just a partial recharge, just to bring it up around 12.8 volts, let's see what we got right here. 12.88 total voltage on the pack. And then check each cell, see what each cell is looking like. 3.215 there, 3.215 there, 3.215 there, and 3.215 there, good. Now I'm gonna check for high and low temperature protection on this board. This board is equipped with that, so it should work as long as they got programmed properly. I'll include a screenshot here in just a moment too at the program settings. But we're going to do high temp first. So here's the sensor right here. And let's let it rip. All right, there we go. Took 45 seconds according to the camera viewfinder. All right, back to charging. Now I'll check for low temp protection with my ice pack on the sensor. Same principle applies. I will bury the sensor down in the ice pack. And it's programmed for 32, so it should trigger. So watch right here. There it went. Took exactly 20 seconds according to the camera viewfinder. I'll get you a corresponding screenshot of that. All right, back to charging. So we have functioning low temperature protection. Nice. So I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the Cyclone Bat Group 24 with Smart Bluetooth 5.0 low temp protection. Um, this battery is exactly as advertised. Nothing to knock this battery on, which is rare, especially for the budget brands. Speaking of budget, this is a budget price. At time of filming, this battery is only $149. So. That's pretty good value to me, at least. I think this is a this is a winner right here for the price. Uh, we got you know good name brand sales, good name brand BMS, good size wire, great construction on this one. You know, really nothing to knock it on. So I'll give this one two thumbs up. So for a budget battery, I think they got a winner right here. So what do y'all think about this battery? Please let me know in the comments. Appreciate y'all watching today. Thank you so much. Appreciate if you hit the like button. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see y'all on the next one. And special thanks to Cyclone Bat for providing a battery for today's video so I can show everybody how your battery's made. Thank you.